So everyone, this is another video on atomic and molecular physics. Okay, we will be discussing uh, more from Zeeman effect. We had uh, done a detailed video on Zeeman effect in the previous lecture. Okay, we will do some numericals. Here, okay, Zeeman effect. Okay, we will do some numericals from it. All right. Okay. Write the question. The question number what? Is the question number of what? I think 31 or something. Okay, question number two levels in an atom whose nuclear spin is. Nuclear spin uh, I is equal to three or uh, have the designations means the spectroscopic terms are uh, two D three by two and two P one by two. Find the expected find the expected number of components components in the hyperfine structure in the hyperfine structure okay of the corresponding the corresponding spectral line okay two levels in an atom whose nuclear spin i is equal to 3 have the designations 2d 3 by 2 and 2p 1 by 2 find the expected number of components in the hyperfine structure of the corresponding spectral line okay so 2d 3 by 2 <clears throat> so what is the j value here 3 by 2 what is the nucleus spin given 3 okay so what is the hyperfine quantum number the hyperfine quantum number is f hyperfine quantum number that is f f is equal to written as i plus j to i minus j okay or j plus i whatever same thing okay so uh, if you see 3 plus 3 by 2 to 3 minus 3 by 2 <clears throat> so 3 plus 3 by 2 is 9 by 2 7 by 2 5 by 2 3 by 2 okay so 9 by 2 7 by 2 5 by 2 3 by 2 all right thus for this state there are four hyperfine structures okay isn't it 1 2 3 4 9 by 2, 7 by 2, 5 by 2, 3 by 2, 4 hyperfine structures here. Alright, let's see for the state, uh, what is the other one? 2p half. 2p half. 2p half is how much? Again, i is equal to 3, j is equal to half here. So, uh, hyperfine quantum number i plus j to i minus j all right 3 plus half to 3 minus half so 5 by 2 to 3 by 2 1 by how much is it mm, 3 minus half 5 by 2 okay okay my bad my bad sorry 7 by 2 and 5 by 2 okay yeah my bad so 7 by 2, 5 by 2, this is the uh, components to hyperfine levels, okay. So uh, 2 here, 4 there. So what is the selection rule for uh, hyperfine uh, structure, like 
for this one combination is selection rule is del f is equal to 0 plus or minus 1 okay so how will i do it how will i do it let's split it let's split this to this one so for 2d 3 by 2 it is like what 9 by 2 7 by 2 5 by 2 3 by 2 right for 2p half it is what 7 by 2 5 by 2 isn't it so let's do it this one like this 9 by 2, 7 by 2, 5 by 2, okay, 3 by 2, okay. 2p half is 7 by 2 and 5 by 2, alright, isn't that right? So what is the selection rule? Del f 0 plus or minus 1, this is actually f values, isn't it? These are the f values. So del f, we have to find out, okay, 0. So let's check. Uh, 3 by 2 won't work. 5 by 2 to 5 by 2 is possible. 5 by 2 to 7 by 2 is possible. 7 by 2 to 7 by 2 possible. 7 by 2 to 5 by 2 possible. Uh, 9 by 2 to 7 by 2 possible. Isn't that right? Okay. 9 by 2 to 7 by 2 possible. And any other thing I have left. Okay. 3 by 2 to 5 by 2 is possible, isn't it? It will give me minus 1. So, how many ray, uh, like rays? I'm saying? How many lines? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6 lines. So, what is the answer? 6 components of 6 hyperfine components. See how easy it is. How easy is the question? Isn't it? No, this won't come directly. But like, like this will come. Okay. So, 6 hyperfine components. Very easy. You just have to find first F. F is what? I plus J to I minus J. Then what? Del F. Selection rule. Selection rule del f is equal to 0 plus or minus 1. Del f is equal to 0 plus or minus 1. See, if you see in the previous one also del m is 0 plus or minus 1. So it's like selection rule will be 0 plus or minus 1. Okay. At some cases, it's just that del j is 0 to plus or minus 1. 0 to 0 is not uh, allowed in some cases. So you have to keep that in mind. Okay. Yeah. So this is the first question. Next question, number 32. Okay, cesium has cesium has uh, a nuclear spin of cesium has a nuclear spin of seven by two. The hyperfine the hyperfine spectrum the hyperfine spectrum of the D lines of the D lines of the cesium atom of the cesium atom will consist of how many lines? Will consist of gas lines. This is a NAD NAD type question in gate or not or too much whatever. Cesium has a nuclear spin of 7 by 2. Read the question once. Try to do yourself first. The hyperfine spectrum of the D lines of the cesium atom will consist of. Okay. The thing about this question is you need to know what is a D line. Okay. D line of cesium atom. D line of sodium, D line of cesium. D line of cesium atom or what? What is the what are the D lines? 2p 3 by 2 to 2s 1 by 2, 1 D line. 2p 1 by 2 to 2s 1 by 2. Okay. So these are the D lines of uh, cesium atom. So we can do it, right? It's very easy, it's nothing, nothing hard in it. Alright. So let's do the first one. Okay. The way we did the previous one, let's do the first one so nuclear spin you can see given 7 by 2 okay so remember that nuclear spin is given 7 by 2 i is equal to 7 by 2 first one is what 2p 3 by 2 to 2s half so we will check for both of them for 2p 3 by 2 j is 3 by 2 i is 1 7 by 2 so what are the f values f values is j plus i to j minus i that is or j plus i whatever so that is uh, 5 okay because 7 
3 by 2 plus 7 by 2 is how much? 10 by 2 that is 5. 3 by 2 minus 7 by 2 is like 4 by 2 that is 2. Like a mod. So 5 to 2, 5, 4, 3, 2. Now for 2 is half, for 2 is half, j value is half, i value is how much? i value is given 7 by 2. So f values are what? f values are 1 by 2 plus 7 by 2 that is 4, 3, yeah, 4 and 3 because 7 by 2 minus 1 by 2 is 3, 7 by 2 plus uh, 1 by 2 is 4. So 4, 3 only. So we will do that. Okay, what is, the, what is the selection rule? Selection rule is del f is equal to 0 plus or minus 1. Okay, let's do it two for 2p 3 by 2. 2p 3 by 2. What are the lines? 5, 4, 3, 2. So let's draw this. 5, 4, 3, 2. Okay, 2 is half. 2 is half, what are the lines? 4, 3, isn't it? This is f values, 4, 3. So two lines, like sorry, not two, two, 4, 3. So del s is equal to, sorry, del f is equal to what? 0 plus or minus 1. So do it, let's, let's check. 2 to 3 can be allowed. 3 to 3 is allowed. 3 to 4 is allowed, sorry. 4 to 4 is allowed. 4 to 3 is allowed. Okay, 5 to 4 is allowed. Isn't that right? Did I miss anything? Let me know if I missed anything. Yeah, that's right. Okay, next is what? These are how many lines? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 6 lines here. Now, what is the next part? This is 2p3 by 2, 2 is half. What is the next one? 2p half to 2 is half. So, 2p half to 2 is half. Okay, for 2p half, j value is half. Uh, I value is given 7 by 2. So what are the f values? A values are if you if you uh, add and subtract, it will be 3, 4 only, I think. Yeah, 3, 4. So 2 is half, same, same thing. Half 7 by 2. So it will be also f is equal to 3, 4. So what are the splitting for 2p half? It is 4, 3. So do it 4, 3. 2 is half. It will be 4, 3. So, 4, 3. So, what is the selection rule? Del f is equal to 0 plus or minus 1. So, just do it. 3 to 3 is allowed. 3 to 4 is allowed. 4 to 4 is allowed. 4 to 3 is allowed. So, 4 lines. Okay. 4 lines. So, 6 lines for the first one. 4 lines for this one. So, how many total lines? 6 lines here. 4 lines for that one. So, 6 plus 4. 10 lines. Alright. Is that right? 10 lines is the answer. Okay, so there are 10 lines in the hyperfine spectrum. Okay, this is, is this clear? It's very conceptual. There is nothing to memorize. You have to understand this to do this. Okay, you cannot just memorize these lines, these lines, this is your very simple. You just have to remember 0 plus or minus 1. You have to get the f value from i plus j. That's it. Okay. So this chapter is coming under like hyperfine structure, you can say, hyperfine spectrum. All right, yeah. Okay, next question. Let's do the next question, 33. I hope you are finding it interesting. Consider the, consider the Gman splitting. Consider the, write the question, okay? Otherwise, no point. Only answer it won't help during revision. Consider the Gman splitting of a single electron system. For the 3D to 3P electric dipole transition. Okay. Electric dipole transition. The Gman spectrum is The G man spectrum is uh, option A randomly polarized, option A randomly polarized, option B only bipolarized, 
only bipolar option C only sigma polarized option D both pi and sigma polarized is that all right consider the Zeeman splitting of a single electron system for the 3D to 3P electric dipole transition the Zeeman spectrum is okay how to do it how to do it see mm. this is your zero del m is zero when del m is zero this one is for pi transition when del m is plus one or minus one this is what sigma transition Okay, sigma polarized or sigma transition, whatever. Is that right? Okay, so we'll check it here. In this case, 3D to 3P. Okay, Do, don't uh, consider 3D, 3P. That is, leave it. That is, it doesn't matter. D to P. Okay, we'll do that. So for D, L value is what? 2. S, P, B, F. 0, 1, 2, 3. L value is 2. S value is what? S value is half because it's electron. Hmm. So J values are L plus S to L minus S. So 2 plus half to 2 minus half. So that is 5 by 2. Uh, 3 by 2, I think. Yeah, 3 by 2. Yeah. So next is your P. L value is what? 1. S value is as electron is S is equal to half. J values are what? What are the J values? L plus S2, L minus S, alright? So 1 plus half to 1 minus See, you shouldn't be writing all this in exam. I'm just writing for your understanding. 3 by 2 to half. Okay, so these are the lines. Alright, this is for 3D. This is for 3P. So let's draw it, draw it. So 3D lines are what? 5 by 2, 3 by 2. Oh, sorry. 5 by 2. 3 by 2. 3p values are what? 3 by 2, 1 by 2. Another thing. Okay. Wait. Here 5 by 2, 3 by 2. L is equal to 2. S is equal to half. S is equal to half. 2s plus 1 is equal to 2. L is equal to 2 means what? D. So 2d, 5 by 2, 3 by 2. This one is 2p, 3 by 2, 1 by 2. Okay, so I can write that way also. 2p3 by 2, 2p1 by 2, or uh, 2d5 by 2, 2d3 by 2. No problem. Okay, now what is the selection rule? Okay, see, uh, transition is between doublets here. Listen, these are doublets. This is not a singlet. Singlet, singlet transition. This one is doublet, doublet transition. Okay, we know the normal G1 effect. In the previous uh, class, I did it. Normal Zeeman effect is a singlet singlet transition. Singlet to singlet transition. Okay, S is equal to 0. But anomalous Zeeman effect, anomalous Zeeman effect is what? S is not equal to 0. That means it's a multiplet, like it's not a singlet, it's multiplet multiplet transition. So here, uh, it's a uh, what anomalous Zeeman effect. So J will split it to MJ values. So what are the selection rule for it? Anomalous Zeeman effect. Anomalous Zeeman effect. What are the selection by selection rule? Del MJ is equal to zero plus or minus one, where zero to zero transition is not allowed. Okay. Del MJ is 0 from, from here, del nj is 0, I just wrote it, 0 for pi transition, del, m. del mj plus or minus 1 is what, for sigma transition, okay, for pi transitions or pi polarization, whatever, pi transition, okay, and del mj is equal to plus or minus 1 for sigma transitions. sigma transitions okay so here see if you check 
what are the difference uh, in them? 3 by 2, 3 by 2 is 0. 5 by 2, 3 by 2 is 1. Okay, 5 by 2, 3 by 2 is 1. So, 0, 1, both type of transitions are there. Okay, so here, both and 3 by 2 to 1 by 2 is also 1. Alright, so both type of transitions are there. So, what will I write? What is the options? Both type transition. That means both pi and sigma polarized. Is it clear? This is from Jiman effect. Hmm? This question is from Jiman effect. Is it clear? Okay. Let me know in the comments is that clear or not. Next question. Question number thirty four. The nuclear spin. This not the atoms. Is nine by two. Okay. Using this, find the find the number of levels in which in which the term the term two d five by two of this month will split into split of split due to IG interaction split due to IG interaction into separation into separation of the 2D 5 by 2 2 and uh, 2D 5 by 2 3 levels is 30 centimeter and those calculate the separations of the rest of the adjacent levels. Okay. The nucleus spin of bismuth the atoms is 9 by 2. Using this, find the number of levels in which the term 2D 5 by 2 of bismuth will split into split due to its uh, IG interaction with the separation of the 2D uh, this is the F value okay so value this is your value uh, level says 30 centimeter universe calculate the separation of the rest of the adjacent values okay so here nuclear spin is again given okay. please read the write the question so that I will go to the next slide you can pause and write the question next I will go to the next slide so so nuclear spin is what 9 by 2 okay so for uh, it's given for 2d so 2d 5 by 2 j is what j is of 5 by 2 isn't it j is of 5 by 2 so your values will be j plus i to j minus i j plus i to j minus i so it will be what 5 by 2 to 9 by 2 that is 14 by 2 that means 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2 if you check it. 
okay so there are how many one two three four five six six hyperfine levels okay so i can write this six i mean these are f values okay so i can write it can you tell me seven six five four three okay the separation between two successive levels f and f plus 1 is given by what what is the separation between separation is given by landis interval rule okay landis interval rule okay so daily dash is equal to a dash f plus 1 for f plus 1 okay a dash f plus 1 so here the separation is given that is 30 cm inverse so i can write 30 is equal to a dash what is f f is 2 so 2 plus 1 that is 3 isn't it okay because separation is between what so we'll take the earlier value that is 2 so 2 plus 1 is 3. So a dash is almost 10. A dash is, a dash is 10 cm from this. Okay. So we can say uh, calculate the separation in other levels. Okay. Other levels will be what? For example, 2D, 5 by 2. Okay. So this one will be what? A dash into x plus 1. So a dash is your 10 into 3 plus 1 because we will take the earlier value, earlier so 40 centimeter inverse 2d 4 to 2d 5 so a dash plus 1 is 10 into 4 plus 1 5 feet oh, if you may ask me why I am not taking for 3 to 5 3 to 5, how, how can you take? Well, the selection rule is what? 0 plus or minus 1. No? So 3 to 5, the, the delay will be 2, which is not possible. Okay, this way you can calculate all the values. Okay, so yeah, these are some of the questions from uh, hyperfine structure. Okay, so hyperfine uh, also is an important question because many students leave this chapter, so question comes from this. Okay, alright. Okay, then, thank you very much. See you in the next session.